Hey Brainiacs, welcome to my top 10 hip hop albums you may not have heard of. Number one, we got True Heads Inner Vibe from 1995. It's a crew from P Town, which is Portsmouth, Virginia. Only just a little smaller than here in Thunder Bay, and also seems like it's a nautical themed city like ours. And T Town salutes the P Town entertainment crew. And I, I'd love to know what happened to them, especially MC Tamika, because that shit's pretty ill, and that's a, a standout verse from the album, I'd say. This seems to be the only album that they put out, but I really enjoy it, and uh, yeah, check it out. True Heads, Inner Vibe from 1995. Number two is Murdalistic Click, Murdalistic from 1996. It's a crew from Motown, Detroit in Six Mile, and it reminds me of the darker stuff coming out of the South, and it's really awesome how many lesser known crews are spitting those fast triplet flows during the golden era. And uh, yeah, people don't know how many really good, amazing crews there were during the golden era. And this is my number two pick on my top 10 hip hop albums you may not know about. It's Murdalistic Click, Murdalistic, 1996. Check it out. Number three is Black Hole Posse, Sounds of Murder, 1996. It's a crew from Denver, Colorado with a dark chill sound that is unique yet familiar. Authentic gangster rap stuff that has the feeling of that golden era and that's why I recommend it for sure because it's it's like a time capsule of that sound and it's it's really awesome. So yeah, Black Hole Posse, Sounds of a Murder is my number three pick on top 10 hip hop albums you may not have heard of. Number four, it's Enland Click, IE Riders from 1999. It's a crew from Inland Empire that's some real authentic Chicano rap with that G Funk sound, you know? And some stuff that make your head bob while you're in a low rider. And it, it's, it's that golden era production, and it sounds a little older than that, but to me, it's a really cool album that represents that subculture within hip-hop. So yeah, check it out. Number five is Punk Barbarians, Sex, Props, Cream, and the Drama in Between, 1996. It's a crew from Long Island, New York, and some of that Brooklyn Wild style with the inflection. and. Is, this album is a lot of fun, and there's some pretty interesting skits and improvisations, and it captures that time in New York, and that's why it's number five on my top ten list of hip-hop albums you may not know about. Number six is Lower Level Organization, Straight From The Woods. From the deep woods of Harvey, Louisiana, from West Bank, Jefferson Parish. This joint is from 1994, and it's got some really unique and interesting production that's surprisingly modern at times, and some very old school stuff at other times. And it's, yeah, it's like a time capsule of that unique kind of southern rap in Louisiana, and yeah, it's, I really dig it. So check it out, that's number six, lower level organization, straight from the woods. Number seven is Get Down Records Presents, Do You Wanna Get Down compilation, 1998. From the area code 760 in the southeastern part of California comes this really slick G-Funk sound. And it's like a compilation, and it's got that really cheesy 90s early Photoshop cover, 
And uh, yeah, it says 760 representing the new generation on the cover. And that's that's what that's awesome. It's showing how hip hop represents the future generation and each album we create now, like during the golden era, represents a time capsule. So yeah, that's my number seven. Is get Down Records presents Do You Wanna Get Down compilation. <laughs> Number eight is Four Tray Block, The Drifter, 1995, G-Funk from Sacramento. And uh, yeah, some really impressive triplet fo- flows and uh, it's a prime example of golden era hip hop, creative and dark music that reflects the street life and the artist's experience of that time. And it's on a very poetic level that's impressive and the production is very imaginative imaginative to this day and yeah so that's number eight on my top 10 list of hip-hop albums you might not know about for trey block the drifter number nine is them violent boys it be rollin from 2001 from springfield illinois comes some more southern rap with those vicious triplet flow deliveries and some interesting trap production. It's a, it's a time capsule of the early 2000s sounds. And yeah, it's it's got <laughs> some more of that really cheesy early Photoshop filter cover. And yeah, like check it out. It's on YouTube and uh, yeah, that's my number nine is Them Violent Boys, It Be Rollin' on my 10 hip hop albums you might not know about. Check it out. And number 10, the last one is one that's a little more well known, but I think it's still worth mentioning because he's still kind of the underdog, and that's Master Aces Sitting on Chrome. And that's a, yeah, it's a, it's a classic hip hop album. And it's just a masterclass on how he he, uh, merged East and West Coast sound together to try to create some sort of peace within hip hop. And it's it's a really awesome album. And yeah, check it out. That's my number 10 on 10 hip hop albums you might not know about. That's Master Aces, Sitting on Chrome. Check it out.